There is another ship, so big it's called a whale, that has arrived in the ocean. It is the brainchild of a reclusive billionaire. Who is he? Why is the ship there? Our Jeffrey Kaufman climbed on board today in Boothville, Louisiana. Good evening, Diane. You are looking at a live shot of the ship anchored in the Mississippi River, so big that I don't think you can even see me on the top deck from over there. You know, there have been so many schemes presented to help clean up that oil out there in the Gulf, but none as big, none as ambitious as this one. As you noted, they call this ship a whale, and there's a good reason. It's 1,100 feet long, 10 stories high. It truly is a giant. When the owner of this brand new oil supertanker heard about the oil spill here in the Gulf, he ordered his engineers to convert it into the world's biggest oil skimming ship. So they quickly cut those vents in the bow and redesigned the tanks inside. They claim this monster can do in two weeks what 500 skimming boats have done here in two months. The ship sailed to the Gulf with no prior permission from BP or the Coast Guard to help in the cleanup. The man behind this high-stakes science experiment? His name is Nobu Su, a mysterious, camera-shy Taiwanese billionaire, unknown outside of shipping circles until now. What's he like? <laughs> yeah, he's a good person. We wanted to see what it's all about. To do that, we were hoisted on a crane ten stories to the ship's deck. Then we descended deep into the bowels of the ship, an area normally used to take in seawater or ballast that keeps the ship stable. Once the water starts pouring in, we'll open these gates. Then it's simple science. The seawater sits in the holding tanks, the oil floats to the surface and is skimmed off. The water goes back to the Gulf. With so much oil in the Gulf and so much pressure here to clean it up, the federal government is moving fast to give the ship a test but no one is sure of the outcome. We're anxious to find out how effective it will be, but it is a very large ship that's been converted to be able to recover oil, and we'll see how it goes. And, and late word this afternoon, the Coast Guard has approved the ship for a test run. It set sail for the spill zone in a couple of hours. Diane?